Hello again guys, it's Greg Ola Productions here and welcome back to another episode of Alarming Antiques. <laughs> Today this is part three of the of the goodies that we have here. And today maybe we'll get to the last box that we have. But first we gotta look at the goodie bag that I got. And it comes in an old Walmart bag, so we're gonna see what what's all in here. These are gonna be various parts. And I <laughs> various parts is right. I don't know what half of this is gonna be. We'll see in a second. And as for this bezel here, does this go to anything? Uh, not that I can see. Now, literally, yes, we're starting right back where we left off. And, uh, have things, uh, improved much? <laughs> uh, it doesn't appear to be. As for this dial, I assume it's another West Clock dial. It doesn't look like a Big Ben. It's, it's smaller than that. Oh. Est that's probably Western Clock. So, okay, so this was a dial. This is probably for a sleep meter. Or uh, something like that, or a, or a, what the heck are they called? I don't know, this is probably, actually, I think I know where that dial goes. Now that I'm looking at this stuff. I think that goes with this case here. I think this all goes together here. Let's just see. We got this here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, pff. well, that's almost it. You got the... I think it does go with that. And then obviously the bezel goes on after that. Or does it? Oh, maybe not. I don't know. We're really just piece... I, I, I hope that uh, later episodes of this series don't have the... Um, I guess it depends on what I buy, doesn't it? I hope they don't have the degree of uh, decay that some of these have. Oh man, maybe I got ripped off. Maybe it's not worth 55 bucks. Ooh, what is this? Another another uh, style 66 movement with a hairspring and balance wheel that isn't ruined, I hope. Oh no, we're good. Okay, that was just laying to the side there. I think we can leave that. Uh, let's see, is there a date code on this? I don't see one. I don't know, maybe you guys see one. Anyway, there's another there's another part. So that's that's five style 66 movements. And here's another Big Ben loud alarm movement coming out of the bag. When is this one from? Uh, 1922. Was it? Or what is that? Maybe there was. I thought there was two of them from 1922. Let's just see here. There's one here. I'm trying to figure out what all the dates are. On some of these, there's one here. Uh, here's one of the other ones we looked at in the last part. Oh, this one's from 1928. With no spring in it. Oh, no, wait, no, 1920? Yeah, okay, no, it is from 28. Uh, what's this other one from? Uh, 20... Oh, no, this one's from 36. Okay. And we don't know what the exact year for this one is, but this had a... Uh, obviously, the dial is... Uh, revealing in that respect. So it's a style one or two Big Ben dial. Anyway, we got another Big Ben loud alarm movement. And I was joking about being ripped off. I think this was worth it so far. I mean, we're not done. Here's a glass lens out of a course clock. That's I, I put that in there myself. Here's a plastic crystal out of something. Does this go with this here? It might go with the, the Canadian call clock. I don't know. It might go with that. I don't know. It looks like it might fit. That'd be great if it did. That's a clock I want to put back together again. Here's the top plate of the Style 66 movement that we just looked at. 
So obviously someone had parted this out for whatever reason. Oh, that's interesting. What is that? Oh no. Wait, that's normal. I'm just looking at this this section here. I don't really recognize that, but it looks. I don't know. <laughs> Funny how these aren't date coded either. That's like that's a shame. Or at least, yeah, I don't think I've found a single date code on any of those movements. I don't know if there's a spring for that in here. I see a great wheel or a um, like I'm not sure. Are they called the great wheel? I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head on that one, but it's busted anyway. Oh yeah, and I think this was a for one. Oh, this no, no. I think I know this was for one of the broken springs because you can see there's what's left of the spring. There's a bell here with a hand. That's interesting. This is a West Clock bell, probably off of a Style 66, aka that movement over there. And this hand here, I don't know what this is off of. Might want to get a parts uh, container or something here to uh, gather up some of these pieces. Just threw something across the room by accident. Put that in there. That's interesting. Another bell. Oh, maybe these are all the bells for all the 66 movements. Because that's another one there. I recognize that. Oh, would you look at that? Well, how, how, well, how about that, viewers? Maybe that goes with this. That movement there. I don't know. I don't know if it fits on. Here, let me just see here if it actually does it might oh no it looks like it screws on uh i'm, I'm sorry i'm testing here off camera but yeah this looks like it this the bell that was here screwed on this one looks like it clips on somehow i don't know no wonder it got lost or i mean maybe not i don't know I'm not really sure how that would have gone on i don't know or maybe it goes with this well, actually, you know what? It probably goes with this here. This this uh, case here that I've been trying to work out. Who knows? Maybe it does. Maybe one of the movements here goes with it as well. I, I really couldn't tell you. Uh, let's see here. What else have we got? Another spring barrel. I think this is a hammer out of a style 66 movement. I'm pretty sure it is. There's this here. A loop end mainspring with a with the uh, wheel that comes with it. I don't I don't know what movement this is out of. I don't know, viewers. Uh, a piece of broken plastic. It looks like that might have belonged to a, a power cord at one time. Maybe not. I don't know, I'll probably end up just chucking that out because I don't think I can do much with that. A wheel. Not sure what wheel and what train that would have belonged to. A style a Big Ben Loud Alarm spring barrel with spring equipped. And we're not broken either. We're still good here. I think this is the time spring, isn't it? Let me just check. Uh, yeah, that's a time spring. Okay. That is out of... I know where this goes, actually. This is out of the uh, Luminous Style 5 movement that I didn't want to bring into the house because of how bad the dial was and there's no crystal for it or anything like that. So this is for that, okay. That's good, we found, we discovered one thing. And as for this, I don't know what this is. This is like some kind of Bakelite ring or something. I'm gonna have to throw that out. Oh, I think here's the bottom plate for that uh, dial here. This uh, Ingram eight day clock. I think this is the, I think this goes with it. I think it doesn't. Uh. Well, then again, it's got the center wheel on there, so what is that? And then, of course, there'd be the center, or there's the center wheel there, and there's the center wheel here, so I guess not. Okay. Uh, otherwise, oh, as I bang the table. Otherwise, I don't know what this goes to. I think I remember seeing that knob on one of the other clocks, though. That knob looks familiar. I don't know. Another hammer out of something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's probably once again a style 66. A another alarm. Hey, what? Oh, there's a broken spring there. Actually, I'll put all the, the stuff I'm gonna get rid of in there. Cause that's for the rest of this. Um, or maybe I'll maybe I'll just dump this here and then put this on top. This is the new parts container, I guess. There's miscellaneous stuff. 
Anyway, I don't know what brand of clock this would have gone to. I can't remember if any of the movements were missing a spring barrel other than that, other than some of the West Clock ones. Uh, is that out of this by any chance? It doesn't look like it. No, that doesn't look the same. Okay, never mind. And viewers, if you don't know what the heck these movements are, you're gonna have to watch the previous part to see the rest of these, the rest of this stuff. We've already looked through all of it. And you know what? Maybe I should dump. No, I'm not gonna dump it all on the. I was thinking of dumping it all. I'm not gonna do that onto the uh, table here. Cause then, well then, well then everything goes everything it goes everywhere, and you just lose it all. Okay, there's a what looks to be a second wheel out of something here. Here's an interesting piece. For those of you who watch the West Clock Sphinx series, that's an electric West Clock uh, wheel there. That's one of the wheels out of that, or out of an electric clock. And I can just tell by the design, I've seen this exact wheel in those before. Hmm, interesting. I, mean, I don't see any cases for any electric clocks here or anything like that. There's nothing here. And what furthers the evidence is here's, the, here's a fiber gear out of one of those. And my West Clock Logan from the West Clock Sphinx series, this wheel is ruined in that clock. The teeth are, or there's a, there's a kind of like a rut because some of the teeth got chewed away. But that's okay. Now I have a replacement fiber gear. So we got hmm, some West Clock electric parts here. There's also, I saw in the bag just as I was looking, there's a, uh, oh, here it is. Once again, furthering the evidence, here is a uh, power flag, power outage flag here. Interesting design on this. I don't know what clock this would have gone to. Anything with a white dial, I guess. I don't know where that would have gone. Uh, that's a, oh, that's a, oh, you know what that is? That's a Big Ben. That's off a of Big Ben, this wheel here. This is part of the motion work on some of the later ones. And you can see here on this one, here's that exact wheel. Oh, well, that's good. Okay, we got always good to always good to have a spare one of those lying around. For those of you who are bored, <laughs> we're just looking at uh, individual parts here. Maybe we should go in here and have a better look at things. Nope. Some top plate out of this looks familiar, doesn't it? What the heck? Viewers, all kinds of strange doubles are happening, duplicates and weird things. I don't know. It's strange. This is some kind of whoops. This is one of the uh, wheels with a with would have had. I think the alarm spring would have been on this, but I don't know what brand of clock this is. Is that out of a? By any chance, is that out of a style set? No, never mind. Disregard. I just checked. There's more wheels here. Oh, here's another one of those wheels we were talking about earlier. Part of the motion work. That's good. I ended up breaking one of those once by accident. Just, I'm not, I'll get into that story another time, but anyway, it's good to have some spares. And here's an uh, alarm escape wheel off of probably a Big Ben, I think. Well, quite possibly. Oh, here's a poor balance wheel that's been, oh, I guess there's no hairspring on this one. Oh, the impulse pin's gone. Oh, that's not good for much now, is it? Here's what's left of a hairspring. Yeah. An escape wheel out of something here. This very well could have been out of a dollar watch. Or maybe it looks like an escape wheel. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not going to go through the incredible effort of trying to find all the little bits that this goes to. There's a minute hand. Bits that goes to so who goes where or what goes where. Oh, look at that. There's the hairspring. Except it's, it's coiled up. Poor guy. Yeah, that looks like it might have been out of a, yeah, that was out of a watch. That's not out of a clock. How interesting. Was that a piece of dust stuck to this thing? I know you. I know, right? You've been on pull on this stuff, Greg. Weird. That's a little tiny little hairspring. It's not even focusing on. There's that piece of something on the side of it. I don't know what that is. Weird, 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 weird stuff in here. Uh, what else have we got? Anything more interesting than that? Oh, yeah, this one's out of a pocket watch. There's a... Look at that. Anyone got any idea what that belongs to? 
Yeah, that was definitely out of a pocket. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I mean, where else? Something that size, you know. It has more Ingram keys here. Or Ingram or whatever. I don't know if that's an Ingram key or what that is. That I thought it was, but it's probably a spring barrel at a, or a part of a spring barrel or something. Or not a spring barrel. What the heck am I trying to say? That's a. This is out of something here that probably would have held a, and I want to say great wheel, but that doesn't sound right. The wheel that holds either spring on. I don't know if a great wheel is the right name for it. And here's another one of these alarm mechanisms here, which is obviously very, most certainly West Clonk. Weird, I wonder where that came from. There's lots of bits and pieces in there. I think that's out, of, oh, wait, I oh, don't know, we've got another one of these wheels here. This looks familiar, but I don't know where. Oh, it looks like someone broke that. Is it like broken? Do you? I don't know. Anyone got a good rust remover here once again? <sighs> uh, this looks this looks fair. It looks electric, if you ask me. The four holes signify to me that this might be out of an electric clock. I'm wondering, is it going here somewhere? I don't know. I've got really no way of piecing the movement for this back together again. No way I'll top my hand. Oh, here's an hour. Here's an hour hand. Is that a big Ben hour hand? Uh, let me just look at the designs here. I don't think it, no, I don't think it is. Never mind. Okay. <sighs> what else have we got? More knobs. There's a knob here. That's probably out of a big Ben or something there. I'm not really sure. Uh, viewers, for those of you who don't want to see this, don't hesitate to skip ahead. Part of a West Clark. Oh, heck. Oh, here's a, once again, another Style 66. Actually, I think I know where this goes. This goes with this movement here. Well, at least we've matched that up. Very good. And I think the washers were all that. You can see some washers here and here. and I, f I feel as if I'm losing people's attention, so I'll... I'll go a little faster here. I mean, just kind of do an overview of everything. Uh, this, what the heck? Oh, more. Well, that's a late West Clock motion work. Hey, at least you know I got, uh... <laughs> it's still GPWS, everybody. You can definitely, uh... No, oh, here's more of the... That's not, I don't know what that is. You can tell it's, uh, it's definitely GPWS uh, material here, viewers, this series, because this is all... All, all the uh, favorite brand here. Let me get the bag out of the camera's face here. Anyway, I think for those of you who don't want to, or for, well, for everyone, I think you kind of get the idea. There's a lot of just random wheels and washers, and that's a center wheel out of something there. I think that's, once again, another West Clock one. Stuff like this, I have no idea where it goes. You know. I'm going to do a little bit of research on this Ingram 8-day clock here from the 50s because I'd like to put that back together. You know, that'd be a nice one to have, but I don't know. Even if I have all the gears for it, it doesn't look like I have the springs for that, which is kind of sad. This looks like, I, oh, this might be out of a style 8 or 7 big or baby band. I think a baby band probably. Anyway, that's a bunch of washers and knobs and all kinds of crazy stuff. I don't see any more hands or anything like that. I see a base out of something. That's, that would have been a base for some some alarm clock there. Anyway, there's double D washers here. There's all kinds of all kinds of stuff here. I think we'll leave it like this. Oh, I think we'll move on to the final box here, shall we? And there's the last of the parts. So it's really about the same as, you know, we don't really know where much of it goes. I see an odd West Clock part here and there. But as for the rest of it, it's looking kind of... I just kind of look at it and I go, I don't know where the heck something like this goes. I think these wheels with the circles, the four holes, I think those all go together on something. But I don't know what clock that would be. Hmm. I don't know if any if any of you have like a Canadian or uh, I'm sorry a Ingram eight day clock or something like that one of those alarm clocks. I'd love to see a picture of the movement because then I could probably put something together. Actually, speaking of putting together, I see a few screws here, it's like four out of. Oh, there's a few here. 
I don't know, four or five screws, that's not very much, and I'd need more to actually, you know, put more stuff together. But, well, it's better than nothing, I guess. And uh, it's better than the shabby Sheikers getting a hold of it. <laughs> but, of course, to everyone who agrees with me, we all know we can't save it all, and some of it's going to go in the garbage, or, you know, the shabby Sheikers going to get a hold of it. And some of this really probably is ready to just be shabby chic material here. Because I don't know what's, you know, like, what are you going to do with some of this stuff? I'm pretty sure this wheel, or maybe it's not. There's a lantern pinion on there. I think someone, something broke off the top of this. I don't know. It's a lot of parts, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all of it. But, uh, I guess we'll just put it all in here for now. Put it all in this container here. It'll be the uh, parts resource. Oh, there we go. It's part of my parts resource anyway. Very, very good. And also, just so you don't feel shortchanged, let's go through this box here. And also, I realized something else. This is the lens out of the quartz clock. This here is a lens out of something else entirely. They, as you can see, if you're not comparing them side by side, they look fairly similar. And I know the size is different, but I didn't... I didn't... Uh, th oh, no, that wouldn't go there. I don't know. I just didn't see it. So that's great. We've got a lens out of something. I don't know where it would go, though. Maybe it would go out of here, maybe, or in here? No, I think this goes with this. I think that's where that goes. I'm not really sure. Maybe, maybe it goes over here somewhere. I'm not really, I don't know. First clock, now, out of the out of the box here, is a very rusty penguin alarm clock with no case. And I see our spring. I think that probably snapped because that's, uh, that's not quite, that's not, uh, Supposed to be hanging out like that. Oh, yeah, this is a real rust bucket, this one. Let's see, where's our hairspring and balance wheel? Oh, there it is. Right by the bell there. I don't know if you can see that. Right in there. It looks in good shape. You know, for the rest of the clock, I mean, this looks... <laughs> if you look at it, I mean, yeah, it looks in, in good shape. Other than that, I'm actually going to try. Do I have a key handy? And I've just realized, now I know where that one knob came from. That all comes from this clock here. Or there's bits of this clock in here. Let me just get it. Or maybe the spring isn't broken. Maybe it's just wound down, although it's, I find that highly unlikely. Okay, I found a key here. Let's see if we can wind any of this up. Oh. Oh, maybe it won't fit. No, nope, that won't fit. Okay, well, it was worth a shot anyway. All right, well, that's the Ingram. Or, or, I see, well, is it Ingram? Let's see here. I see there's a brand down here. Made by the... Oh, yeah, it is Ingram. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Something something about this just struck me as an Ingram clock. And, uh... Yeah, that's a shame about the state it's in, though. I guess it's good parts if I find another one. And now, for the next clock in the... In here. We have a very beaten up. It's done some traveling. It's a West Clock Travel Alarm with some kind of... What have we got here, viewers? Oh, this is interesting. General... What is that? General... Uh, Glane... Oh, ge oh, Genuine Leather. West Clock. Germany. Oh, this is... Wait, is it Germany? Yeah, it is Germany. Okay, so they put a German movement in this. Oh, this just came right out. Man, it's a West Clock Travel Alarm. It's one of the late ones, and it is gummed up beyond... Well, it's not gummed up beyond all help, but it's stuck. Oh, oh, and it looks like our spring barrel is having an issue here. You can try and wind it up as much as you want, but it won't wind. That's a shame. Let's see if our alarm will do anything for us here. Come on. Oh, we're not. Oh, we're not. Let's see here. Are we going to get anywhere? Oh, it looks like it doesn't want to trip. Interesting. I see the spring is cranked all the way up. I don't know what this is. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't suppose that would be out of an original West Clock box, would it? Hmm. Oh, and I see here's where you mount the top. Or here, here's where you mount it on here. Okay. It doesn't look like that's completely ruined, or does it? Oh, they have pop. This might have popped out of there. I don't know. This, this, this looks kind of rough. Oh, yeah, that doesn't help us. Yeah, this genuine leather isn't going to help us now, I don't think. 
this is a parts one, especially that case doesn't help us much. Anyway, it's a neat one to have though, and even with that little tag on there. That's a neat one to have, interesting. What have we got now? We've got some kind of, all we know is it's an ace. Ace of what? I have no idea. Oh man, this is, hey, look at that. We know where some of the circular gears came from now. I think it, I think there might be a double up of, the, of this happening. Yeah, look at that. Oh, happy day. Look at that one there. At least we know where like 30% uh, of them. Yeah, now we know where, see if we look here. Well, that looks familiar, doesn't it? And so, oh no, it's just that one. Okay. Well, we've got two uh, aces here. I don't know what brand this is. You probably say on the bell. Well, yeah, it's Ingram. We've got Ingram Ace. We've got Ingram Ace with parts. That's very good. We don't have a... Problem is, this is a lost cause. I mean, look at that. <laughs> look at that there. Oh my goodness. That's the problem with uh, with uh, foil dials and stuff like that. Like they were cheapening out on this. At least we know what this is now. It's an Ingram Ace. Let's just see if we can do anything with these controls. Or maybe just pull right on out. Oh yeah, okay. How's our hairspring and balance wheel doing on this? Oh yeah. Oh! <gasps> oh! You know the potentials there, viewers. You just know it is. Uh, let's see here. Does, how do you how do you turn on the... Oh yeah, because you got the... There's a button up here which looks like it's frozen. And uh, yeah, this isn't... This is not in good shape. That's, per that's the first time. That's probably moved in like 20 years. And I see there's just one screw holding the base on. This one is due for just an, an entire repaint, I think, almost. Ooh, there's all kinds of things coming out of there. Yeah, I think a lot of these... I'm going to do some... Or I'm going to try to do some experimentation with, restor with the restoration in like the cases and stuff on clocks as time goes on. And I think that spur over there, that spur case, and this case here are basically perfect candidates. And I know some of you are going to say, oh, don't do that. You take all that character on the clock. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. No, I totally get that. Uh, I'm, I, I'm not sure as of yet. I don't know. But put your protests in the comments, please, so we can see what, see who thinks what. Okay, well that's good. We've got, I think, yeah, I think the keys, those keys we were finding earlier, I think they go with this as well. Okay. Is this broken? I hope not. I hope that's wound down. Uh, it still fits in the case, so I'm gonna assume that it's not broken. Oh. I don't know if this wants to go in. I'll have to push that spring down to get this in here. I don't know, this was kind of a budget alarm clock. As you can tell just by looking at it. Okay, well, there's a very trashed Ingram Ace, but at least, you know, at least we actually know what it is now. That's that's something to go off of. And paint is flaking off everywhere. Good stuff. Good show, boys. Come back next year. Let's try it again. Okay, here's, uh, here's a classic here. A West Clock Hustler with no second hand. And yes, this is a Canadian model. This is not the electric version. Let's see if we can get anywhere with this one. Is the spring broke? Uh... Uh, let's just see here. No, I think our spring's not going to give us any action. And this one's frozen solid. Uh, oh, there's one screw left in this. This would have this. This is a movement here. This would take a style 66 movement. So, for all we know, all of these style 66 movements, they're either a spur or a hustler or something here. I, I think you can see that the key arrangements on both of these clocks are the same because they use the same movement. And let's just see here. Uh, I don't know, maybe not, oh no. Never mind viewers, I'm wrong. I don't know where these, uh, or hold on, what the heck? Uh, I guess you could, I don't know. Here's the alarm, no, is this alarm? Yeah, I guess it is. Okay, maybe they are then. Yeah, you know what, I think these are actually maybe style 66 movement. Here's a keyhole. There's a keyhole, there's the alarm knob goes there, and there's a time setting knob. I think that look well, the knobs are different on this one. I don't know, don't quote me on that. I thought they might have used the style 66, but I could be wrong. Anyway, here's a nice hustler. 
which the paint is not doing bad. I mean, and so the dial is good. We've got a crystal. This one's a this one's a a ripe one for servicing. I don't. This wouldn't need any sort of stripping down or anything like that. That's a good one there. No problems with that. We've got another Ingram. Uh oh, I think I know where the. Uh, I think I know where the. Um, where is this Ingram? Hold on. Square. Well, I got that right. I see our hour hand's broken. <clears throat> I'm sorry, viewers. The alarm hand is gone. And this looks very, very reminiscent to the Ace, doesn't it? Yeah, this looks almost the same. Let's just see if we can get that other movement over here. See, the reason I say this is I think I see the, I think I see this part here. In, the, in here somewhere. Oh, maybe not. You know what? I think... Uh, maybe... No, I might be wrong. Yeah, you know what? I'm wrong. This isn't the same. This is something else. Do I have a... Do I have a double in this one? I wonder. I think I do. Yeah, I do. Okay, for some reason... Okay, yeah, this, this movement here is the same as this one. I'm 95% sure now, now that I look at this. Or is it? I don't know. They've got they both got this weird looking frame thing that's probably riveted to the top plate. Or maybe it's not. Uh, no, that, actually never mind, that's not it. Disregard. I don't know, that might be just a lone wolf type one in that in that sense. Let's see with this one with the balance wheel hanging out. Nope, that's not the same either. Uh wouldn't be like this, would it? This isn't it. No, that's not it. Hmm. Okay, well that's an Ingram, or I, actually I have no idea what that is. I don't know why I keep saying it's Ingram. I don't know, it just gives me Ingram quote-unquote vibes, I guess you could say. It's got a nice cardboard dot. I don't know, that's a metal. I don't know, that's a piece of, that's a piece of tin or whatever. This is glued to it. More parts for the square alarm clock. We don't know what a square, we don't know what this, we're not entirely sure what uh, what's going on here with that one. Loop and mainspring. Not really sure where that goes. And last, but by no means, wait, no, wait, we got one more thing to look at. Here's a gear out of something. Might be West Clock. I have no idea, really. I, I, I keep assuming it is. I don't know. It looks very West Clock esque. Esque? Esque? Why did I have a, Having a slight problem with my, what I'm saying here today, viewers. Last, but by no means least, a West Clock Tide. With all the hands, the glass is there, the keys are there, uh, the knobs are gone. That's a loss. Let's see if we're gonna get any action with this guy. Oh yeah! This is the mechanical version of the Logan. This is the Tide. And I don't know if this is a Style 66. I think it might be. And I know I keep saying everything under the sun is a 66, but... I think this one might actually be one. Oh, I'm just comparing the key arrangements here. Actually, I think that knob's wrong. I don't think that's the right knob. Or no, it is. I don't know. Does anyone recall any West Clock clocks with that type of time-setting knob? I don't know. Anyway, that's the Tide. Uh, I'm going to have to do a service on this when I actually have some knobs to put on it. Because I don't feel like setting the time with a pair of pliers. I don't think anyone will blame me. This one is probably, since its alarm function is the only thing that works, I think that's better than everything else here uh, when it comes to functionality-wise. Actually, no. The Style 4 Big Ben did want to tick a little bit. I don't know. As, as you can see, viewers, this is... Let's do the group shot. More, uh, well, there's, there's, um, four, or there's five, I don't know, there's five of those loud alarm big bands, a number of those style 66s, other things here, this is here, <laughs> you know how it is, viewers, you've seen, yeah, there wasn't, it wasn't some great, um, addition to the collection here, but yeah, that's everything, other than an Ingram, uh, victory clock, which has a radium dial, which as you can guess, there's no case or crystal on that one. So that one's in the garage. 
and another Style 5 Big Ben. And it's in about as good a shape as, or both of those are about as in good a shape as this one. So discounting those two clocks, which I didn't want to bring into the house because there's no crystal. Well, that, I'm, and I'm skeptical about the radiation and the radium on that one there. I didn't want to bring those in the house, so just, so not counting, the, well, counting those two. This was all for 55 bucks. I don't think this was a terrible deal here. I just hope I can make some more something out of those parts there. Uh, I know the, obviously the West Clock stuff I'm going to use. I don't know about stuff like this. You know, I mean, this might be, I'm not really sure about some of these movements. Uh, and I hope I can build, or rebuild some of the, something out of here. <laughs> hope I can rebuild whatever this is, whatever this here is. I'm not, I'm not I don't know. But uh, I'll have to, I guess we'll see over time if I can, I'll, maybe I'll do, I'll do some research on these and. I don't know if I'll be posting a comment about that uh, shows my research, or I'll just make another part of, of this series or this particular. Or yeah, no, I guess it would be no, it'd be, it'd be part of this particular segment of alarming antiques. I guess I don't know. We'll see. There might be an update uh, with research on some of these movements. I'm not really sure. Who knows if I made an NAWCC account? <laughs> Here's another idea. If I actually decided to buy or get the membership, which you have to pay for. Maybe I could take some of these movements to the NAWCC website and figure out what the heck goes where. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see, viewers. Anyway, hope you guys got something out of this. I know I definitely did. And, uh, yeah, this, is, this concludes episode one of Alarming Antiques. I'm, the only thing I'm alarmed about is the, is the amount of uh, spare parts I have.